Morning everyone. Good morning. Well, I have to say you wouldn't know it was morning though. Um, obviously we are in the aerotown at the moment. Um, yeah, do you want to hold that? It might be slightly easier. Uh, as you know, the, the room doesn't have any windows, so um, you can't tell what day or night or anything it is, can you? Um, I've got a flat battery coming. That's not good. <laughs> Right, quick, let's get and do this. Um, so, uh, what did we do? We had a good night's sleep. Good night, yeah, very good. Bed, yeah, the bed, bed was really comfortable. Was really comfortable. Yeah. It wasn't too hot. Um, in fact, we have no complaints about this hotel as well, at all. Um, we've read some dreadful reviews about it. We've read dreadful reviews about poor customer service, the rooms being tiny, um, just really everything and anything that would put you off but actually do you know what it's practical it does the job the location is brilliant especially if you've got loads of luggage like we have and that's going to be our challenge in a moment is trying to work out how to get our luggage from here through to departures it's only a short hop but we've got a lot of it so um yeah you might see that in a minute, I don't know. I don't know whether I'll be able to film and push luggage at the same time. But um, anyway, the plan is that um, at eight o'clock, Sarah's gonna come round. We're gonna pop out just to see if we can buy some sandwiches, just in case there's nothing much on the flight that we like. And um, then at around, oh, I don't know, half past nine, we are gonna make our way to departures, aren't we? Yeah because we've heard that the queues are pretty awful. I'm sort of praying that they're not awful. I'm just hoping that, you know, it's all gone now. Easter's gone, everything's out of the way. So let's hope that our queue is fairly short. Um, um, we'll just see how it goes. But anyway, I'm really conscious that my battery is just about to die. So I'm gonna go and change it. Okay then, I'll speak in a minute, bye. Window seats were available. 
Great views from the window here. Many nice cakes. Yeah, one of them little ones. Oh, yeah, we would have loved that. Uh, Let's go back. Seek an out by not pork pie. <laughs> Dollos. It's a, it's a Dollos portion. Here we have a Dollos oh, portion. Oh, have a steak and out pie. Oh, is that? Um, Jack's got. Oh, that's. What salad. is this? Oh, that's really nice. It's fruit. It's untouchable. <laughs> it's lovely, Mum, in, in Dollos world. <laughs> Tastes like school dinners. Tastes like school dinners. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. <laughs> Right, this is my afternoon tea that's arrived. You had a choice of um, coronation chicken or egg and mayonnaise and cress plus um, a caramel and chocolate cake. So I chose this rather than the pie, but the pie actually did look really nice. So um, mm, we'll see what this is like. Okay. I'm in yeah. here. Well, she thought it was free, so hang on, Thomas, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, just hang on a minute. Yeah. Are you eight? Yes. We've got a ticket, so we don't. Right. Yeah. It's not as good to be a very big bag now. Nine. Nine A, nine F. Oh, have we got eight E? Yeah. So, yeah. so we're there. Okay, so stay put for now. Eight E and eight. A we are. So I'm always sat there. You're sat the here. Yeah. Can I have my bag back here? Of course you can. I didn't realise it was in there. Sorry, let me have you squeeze in. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. We have a customer traveling with us today who has severe nut allergies. They request that you refrain from eating any peanut or nut snacks that you've ever brought on with you. Thank you for your cooperation.
so this is um, roasted lamb shank. I've chosen not to have the starter. Um, it was some sort of salad which didn't grab my fancy. So I've gone for roasted lamb shank with vegetables and roast potatoes. Um, it's served with a trio of rolls, which is lovely. Oh, the lamb shank comes with some mint sauce as well. Some butter, um, cheese and biscuits, and my favourite, um, an amazing tiramisu. So I'm really looking forward to eating that. Oh, tiramisu, yummy. There we go, looks pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty impressed. So I'm gonna tuck in now and see what it's like. This is what I've got, pretty good. Nice glass of wine, that's the main thing. The glass of wine, yes. Fish pie, or fish. Nice bit of cheese. Chocolate, yeah, don't know about that. Salad, yes, salad and a nice roll. That's great. this I've only just realized this at the end of the flight so there's a little cupboard here that opens up it's like you can put your laptop in it and there's a mirror how good is that this is the dividing window as it looks now so you can see into the cupboard next door it's not as big as it was before and funnily enough, when you're taking off, all it does is slide backwards and forwards, <laughs> which is really annoying. <laughs> anyway, that's a little difference as well.
Alaska plays on us. Okay, well, I didn't film when we arrived at the hotel. It was a bit difficult from the back of the van. Um, but we're in the Waldorf, so we've just arrived. This is our first look at it. It's got wonderful wide corridors, very impressed. Lovely decor, and it smells amazing. It smells like a Disney hotel. Right, this one's ours. We're in 945, so I've just got to get my key out a minute. Okay. Whoa. Heavy door. Hi. Wow. Nice big room. Nice cool room. I'm not sure we've got a Disney view. Have we got a Disney view? Never. I don't think we have. We're on the other side. So there's our answer. We do actually have a Disney view. You can actually see the fireworks. And they're really not that far away. Okay, there's a big crane in the middle. That doesn't do anything for it. But you do get the idea of the fireworks. 